As a genealogist, I use public records to uncover startling details about who people were and how they lived. I can take a name or an address from 100 years ago and determine when and where a person was born, who he married, where he lived, what he did for work, and the circumstances of his death. I can find passport applications and tell where he traveled. I can find yearbook photos from where he went to school and even find what kind of car he drove. But the world has evolved tremendously within the last 100 years, and the details your descendants may discover about you will far exceed anything we have seen before. The amount of information available about an individual continues to grow. Public records trace each of our major life events, birth, marriage, and death. Within the first years of your life, you will be included in a census, a systematically collected record of a population of people. In the U.S., a census is conducted every 10 years, with the last census collected as of April 2020, just at the start of the pandemic. Historically, censuses were collected by going door-to-door, -door, but for the first time in 2020, it was done electronically. Based on the information you and your family provided, your descendants will know your name, age, address, occupation, and place of birth, along with that of all those in your household. In the past, only the most prominent families chronicled more intimate details of their lives in newspapers, including travel, illness, and out-of-town visitors. But with the rise of social media, nearly everyone now has a personal electronic diary. The question is, how and when could this be archived and made available to those of future generations? In 100 years, will your great-grandchildren have access to your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok like I access a census record? But how might this work? Will these platforms archive the data as of a specific date every decade and make them publicly available 75 years later like they do for government records? Potentially, your great-grandchildren will see your profile as of January 1, 2020, January 1, 2030, and January 1, 2040, and so on. Despite posting as FitMonkey807, perhaps the archive data will provide the name you registered your profile with to match your legal name, so that even though you think you are incognito, your profile will come to be associated with you. They will get to know you through your actual words and memes, which will become your electronic diary, possibly representing you for hundreds of years into the future. Is this how you will be remembered? Will your witty sense of humor resonate with your great-great-grandchildren? How will our social media diaries shape the future perception of life today? Typically, social media users post the highlights of their lives, not the day-to-day -day drudgery of work and school. Will future generations see our social media diaries and think of us as morons? Or will they perceive our time in history with fondness and admiration, not fully understanding the pressures and hardships that we actually face? Furthermore, future generations will review our social media diaries from a completely different worldview, one that we will never know or understand. Just think of how public perceptions have changed in the last 100 years regarding the roles of race and gender. And it is from this futuristic lens that each of us will be judged. So everything you post today will be reviewed and possibly criticized if your opinion eventually falls on the wrong side of history. I think the possibility that each of us may be remembered and more fully understood by future generations is exciting and unlike any other time in history. The possibility of finding uncanny connections among ourselves will be incredible. Perhaps you are Facebook friends with your future great-great-granddaughter's husband's parents. We may find our personal connections span generations in ways we never imagined. Our social media profiles will allow each of us to leave a personalized diary to our descendants. But what do you want to tell them? How do you want to be remembered? What is most important for them to know? With each social media post, you have the opportunity to not only connect with people of the world today, but perhaps generations into the future. Let me know in the comments your thought on this possibility, and if you want your social media profiles to be available in the future.